Hi, my name is Tony Jha. I'm from the United States. I'm a research scientist here at ELSI, and today I'm going to be teaching you about polyester microdroplet assembly on the early Earth. So modern life is made up of many cells, and cells are generally made up of a cell membrane, DNA, RNA, and proteins. What about an ancient cell? What did that look like? Well, first of all, there was likely no membrane, no proteins, no RNA, and no DNA. So, what did an early cell look like? Recently, researchers at ELSI have been working on a system called alpha hydroxy acids. These are very simple chemical monomers found in a variety of extraterrestrial systems, such as meteorites and through atmospheric discharge. And even if you can't understand this chemical structure, let's abbreviate this as square. So what happens is, in an aqueous environment on another planet, for example, you have perhaps a pool of water that contains a lot of these alpha hydroxy acids. When these alpha hydroxy acids, when the water is dried, for example, through heating from the sun or seasonal changes, you end up forming a gel-like structure. And what the gel is made of is actually something like this. The alpha hydroxy acid monomers have polymerized into a polymer. And this is called a polyester. And you may have actually heard this term before, for example, in your clothing. And what's great about this system is when, for example, in this extraterrestrial environment, you get some rain and some water goes into this dried gel, what you end up forming is self-assemblies of these polyesters that assemble into microdroplets. These microdroplets are really interesting because they don't have a membrane, but they can still incorporate things like small molecule dyes or even RNA, which is an important genetic polymer. And so from now on, we're considering how we can study these polyester microdroplets in the context of the earliest cells on Earth or on an extraterrestrial system. So today I taught you all about polyester microdroplet self-assembly on the early Earth and how we're planning to use these systems to study how the first membraneless cells formed on the early Earth or an extraterrestrial environment. Thank you for your time. I hope you learned something interesting today.